them bright, ay, ay, ay. But her demeanor stunned on. Oh, she a diva, she know she a bad little thing. I don't gotta tell her. All them niggas try and get a bitch. Since she fell in love with a wig. Right now, it's the next day. I did that yesterday. Yeah. I forgot to do my intro and my outro, so I'm doing it now. That's why I look like this. I only look like this because um, I am shooting a um, prepare for me for the first day of school video. So, that's why. And school is tomorrow. So, I've been working on that. And right now, I just want to do the intro. We got but on the road. It was time to go to Miami. Like, comment, subscribe, tag your friends. The shop is located in Miami. If you haven't watched my previous video, go watch it. If you're new to the channel, what's up, my babies? Welcome to the family. Hey, y'all. So, we was on the way to Miami, Florida. And we was on the road. <laughs> Hey y'all, so we finally made it to the shop, that's the name. If y'all want to check it out, it looks so nice in there. Me looking at that wine, knowing I'm not gonna get nothing. Y'all, I was so mad. Nah, I'm just playing, y'all. They was talking about wine. gonna get started I'm going to go through the supply list because that's the first thing that I do when I make a candle is I'm if you have your wick just wave it in the air like you just don't care <laughs> you have your wick who stop with that wick <laughs> okay do you have your art brush Do you have your clothes pin? I sure do. Yeah. 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 You got one, Z? I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you have your popsicle stick? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> A popsicle? You might. Right. <laughs> All right. Do we have two measuring cups? Yes. 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 And these will be great shot glasses, but know that they're not going to pour. One of them you will have glue in. Okay? Where do you want to do this like that? Okay. This is some other shit. Right, right. First thing that we're going to do. Wait. So let's, let's, let's make sure that we can reach our glue. Everybody get, not everybody, but. At, the corners, at, the at that moment, building. I was just trying to figure out should I take the glue? Like, everybody was just picking up the glue. Perfect. So you're they had songs playing. We started jamming, bruh. Uh -oh. <laughs> the music gonna start after we started dancing. Like, what you doing? Oh, but nah. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna start with the first one. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be a little bit harder. But you I was so determined to put it in the middle, y'all. I don't know. You want to take your, your popsicle stick? You want to press it down just a That's little so bit? Don't kill it. Don't kill it. <laughs> what I'm going to do now, I'm going to give you some flowers. Because we're all about giving ourselves flowers, right? 
I just want to say, start doing things for you. Get you some flowers. You don't need somebody to get you flowers. Get your own flowers. Now these flowers, I want you to take that glue, squeeze it into one of your measuring cups. That moment, I was confused, y'all. I ain't know what to do. Yep. Focus and determine, and then my coach gonna put the camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold up. Wait one more minute. <laughs> I decided to go with this fragrance. It smells so good. Shady shade. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> some flowers require to be in a cool, shaded place. Moon flowers in particular bloom in the darkness. That's why I named the company Moonflower. Because I was going through so many things, depression, all of the things that get compiled onto us as women, and we don't know how to bloom through those things. And then it occurred to me that there are flowers that bloom better in the darkness. That's their natural habitat. So when you are in your natural habitat, when you are in your natural state of blooming, your natural state of growth, you can turn the lights out on me. You gonna turn them back on, I'm gonna be bigger. <laughs> It's like, what just happened? I tried everything with this chick. Yes, you, can, you can turn the lights out. So I encourage everybody to think about what we can do. Since my regular, I'm talking. This is for my auntie. Hers looks so nice. Hers looks so nice. Y'all, I overflowed my. I overflowed my. My aunties look nice. I like that. I overdid my. Like always. Them. One of the reasons I chose this was, like I told May, I really wanted to get a small, intimate group of women together. I didn't want my first sit because when you walk in here, it exudes self-care, right? And and I know more than anything else, that's what we need. I invited a few different people that I know, and I know she has a problem with I'm putting everybody first. And so that's one of the things I want to talk about today, um, just putting you first. And what does that look like? Because we get so accustomed to putting everybody else first. Like that just comes naturally. I wrote down, I typed out, well, I put in my notes, a couple of the things that May said as it related to candles, um, as it related to creating candles. And so in putting you first, I want I want you to think about it in a way of creating the life you want. Because I, what I find is that when you learn how to create the life you want, you're going to naturally put yourself first. But but we don't really understand the art of creating the life you want, right? So this candle was what? The vessel. That's you. You're the vessel, right? We had, we took care of We get up, we go to work, we take care of our kids. We, you know, we, that's just the flow of it. And then before you know it, you don't really know who you are. You don't know who you are, you don't know what you like. You don't know which flower to pick, you don't know which scent to get. Then you're looking online and you're seeing what flower she picked, what flower they picked, what scent they picked. I thought something was so interesting as May walked around and said, okay, it's time for you to pour. Now, I don't know why, but May said, oh, Z, go ahead and pour. Now, I know why, because mine has started hardening up really fast, right? Everybody's everybody's wax set differently. Mm -hmm. Our times are always different. But when you're creating the life you want, you ain't gonna get off focus. I, and I want us to have real conversations today. This one of my teenagers started students, talking about it. I was about to cry. And well, she I cried. Me this morning with a, in, Don't mind in, that. In a very bad. But she started state talking about, about me. not knowing who she is. Anybody in here know who they is already? No, no. 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 I really <laughs> just. <laughs> that's. The, I ain't even said how I was gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even. I didn't when she said when she said coach because she's my one of my dancers. She said coach. I just. I, I just thought I was gonna take this summer to find out who I am, and I'm just. I'm just. I'm just Girl, I want to say, girl. Girl. So I need her to get amongst some some women, and that can ver that can verify what I'm getting ready to say. Girl, it's okay. It's an everyday thing, creating the life that you want every day. But you gotta know what you want, and can't get off focus because what nobody else is doing. She's such a unique young lady, and that's why she has such a hard time. She stand out from the crowd. Action. What is it that you need to grow? What do you know? What it is you need to grow? 
And I want to go around the, around the room. I'm going to start with you because you got something to start Yeah, I'm going to start here. <laughs> <laughs> and if you know what it is, if you don't, that's fine. We'll, we'll go to the next person. But what it is, what is it that you need to grow? Like, I tell, when you just said that about your student, your um, athlete, I have a teenage daughter, and I always tell myself, I say, I'm still, I, when I grow up, I'm not, and I'm 44 years old, and I still say, when I grow up, <laughs> because I'm still trying to figure it out at 44. We'll have a life after our children, and if we don't start now, once they're gone, then we're going to be stuck. Stuck, yeah. Next, Bestie. <laughs> um, for me, probably, I think I pour a lot so we had a chance to pick out any label we wanted and i pick i am enough because i am okay. hey y'all so we just got done i finished my candle it's so pretty I had a great time. I learned a lot. I learned that you don't have to know what you want to do now. You can work on yourself. You can see what type of stuff you like and what you don't like. I have a hard time realizing what I like and what I don't like. And putting other people first instead of putting myself first. It's time to do me. This was a great event. They have other classes you can go to. You can. This can also be a date. With you and your partner, you can go with friends, family. The information will be down below in my description. Check it out. I had a lot of fun and I enjoyed my time. So this is all for this vlog. As me, personally, and I'm going through stuff, I have to realize other people are going through stuff. And today, I realized that I'm not the only person that's going through what I'm going through. You have to put yourself first because I tend not to do that. You have to work on yourself and you don't have to change for anybody. Um, Just be you. And I have to learn that. I was so grateful to have the opportunity to be in that class and listen to other people. But this is all for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, tag your friends, and do all that. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't watched my previous video, go watch it. Because what's you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Stay tuned for the next videos. And bye.